and welcome back to the Rolled Standard. I'm Nate Seibert, and I will be the Keeper of Doors today as we continue playing Apocalypse Keys. Of course, I am joined with Christopher. I usually am your Keeper or GM, but today I will be playing a uh, couple of characters, I say, I think. That's, so, that's very possible. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll leave the introduction for the characters when they, when they introduce themselves, I guess. Yes. Hello. I'm Levi. <laughs> I play Guy Fowl. I'm Jake, and I'll be reprising my role as Charles. All right. Well, last we left off, I'm sure everybody is aware. The fuckery. <laughs> the fuckery. It wasn't fuckery. I just wanted to see my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's exactly where we leave off, uh, where Eric's has jumped his way into the sewers and was um, strangely verbally assaulted by a homeless man. Just before we ended, and uh, we left Guy Foe and Charles up top, where Charlie was boinked away. I'm in a skin cocoon in the middle of an interdimensional space-time continuum. Yep. The mm -hmm. people all around are going buck fucking wild because uh, another building in the middle of the or in the middle of the morning has been destroyed. Why are we even paid to do this stuff? Are we paid? We're I don't think so. I think we're kept from uh, being killed mostly, <laughs> yeah. or or. Locked up like the old D-Pick. Charlie really likes to destroy buildings, I've noticed. It's it's an after effect <laughs> of what happens, all right? All right, well, um, so here we stand. Guy now alone outside of a hotel oh, with no. his old friend vanished and his uh, new ward poofed away. Um, what do you do, sir? So I didn't see Eric's go all rampage into the sewers, no? Um, cause I think I was no, facing Charles. I guess that's for you to decide okay. if you, if you want to have seen it because I did not see it. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm going to look around. Uh, there, there, so there's a bunch of chaos going on, correct? Yeah. People there, are screaming, people screaming. And fucking other people like taking videos oh, and my shit. Leg. <laughs> my leg. There's, my de eyes. there's definitely that. Oh yeah. There's. <laughs> No, there's definitely that, because um, if you recall, he didn't just jump into the sewers. He manifested a giant um, oh, yeah. a, a giant spirit That's blender right. and crushed uh, pretty much an entire building to the ground. I did definitely see that. No, this wasn't a giant... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I did see that. Keep in, mind, keep in mind, this was not a... <laughs> <laughs> so it this was like wasn't a, a skyscraper. This was like a single story, normal ass building. It's in like town. a newsstand. Black hole. <laughs> it was. It was a, like a black hole that sucked the building into destruction. It, you can consider that very much. Right now, it's just rubble in a crater in the ground, going into the sewers. Initially, oh. you crashed through a, a, a roadside memorial to a dead girl. Oh yes, that was oh, against that was the, the initial building. thing. Right. Yes. Yeah. Terrible. Yes. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to run over to the rubble and start digging through it for your, for your body. Um, thinking, okay, thinking you got hurt real bad. Are you are you doing this just normally, or is there anything that you're going to? Well, I don't have super strength. I just have flight. No, speed. exactly. Yes, and you have dimensional I, I'm, traveling. You're, I'm going to be like flashing and just fucking start. <laughs> oh, do like quick, quickly moving. You do rubble. have dimensional phasing. You could be dimensionally phasing that rubble. You can be doing both at the same time if you wanted. I mean, I'm going to make you... I mean, if you're going to use your powers, you're going to be rolling using darkness. No, I'm, I'm just going to fast hand movements and pulling rubble out of the spot. All right, well... Um, looking looking where, exactly where you went. How long do you want to spend doing that? Uh, not very long. Yeah, because... Uh, Maybe a couple minutes. Yeah, because after a couple of minutes, it becomes very clear that not only do you not have the strength to kind of get through the majority of all of this just carnage underneath here. There's literally, there's bodies inside oh, here and no. shit. I mean, this was not an empty building, sir. Oh. It, uh, there's tons of shit <laughs> underneath here. Oh. I, I think that's where it actually is. After the first couple of minutes, you lift up, you lift up one of these rocks and that's when you see somebody's hand sticking out of the rubble. But you know for sure that just right away, because Eric's is a eccentric guy and he's got some sharp, black nails, and this is definitely not that. Okay, then I'm going to put the boulder back down and cover the hand. Okay. And I'm going to just blip out back to the hotel room. <laughs> He's like, nope. All right. Not all doing right. this. Not nope. dealing with this. No, we are terrible at this job, man. And, and then We're I'm monsters. going to, uh, while, once I'm in the... True. Once I'm in the hotel room, I'm going to reach my hand through another portal and then pull out 
the skin cocoon. Oh God! <laughs> that, you you do that. You do just that. Just like a giant fucking nut sack the size of a person. <laughs> oh, okay, and remember? Well, oh my God! Remember the, <laughs> the hotel? The hotel room is uh, half destroyed. Oh, remember this? The toilet still spurting yes. out water every now and again. Oh uh, no, that that stuff's kind of like. Oh, because of La La Rona. Kind of disgusting black. It's yeah. it's almost not even water inside this. Like up at this level, it's kind of just this disgusting black sediment now. And the, like the smell plant. is no different than when it first showed up. It is still disgusting. It is still horrible. And uh, there's just madness down on the street below you. So I, I, I reach in. I pull out the skin cocoon. And I throw them on the ground. Like that, just a, um, it's a, it's a solid thud. It's just a pound pound of meat basically being dropped on the ground. Is it is it is it you in like a soup, just like a caterpillar does? Inside? No, it's hard flesh. Think when caterpie evolves into metapod, and then metapod evolves again. You know how he shoots the string up? It's just flesh just shooting up and then covering around him. Oh, and it's yuck. got like a spiral effect to it. But it is a perfect, almost like a, a, a banana pea pod. Oh, oh, okay. Cocoon of flesh. Gross. With a crack coming down the center where you can probably pry, pry it open. I'm sleeping. Does, I'm I'm in hibernation mode. <laughs> hey, gross. <laughs> Yo, it is gross. <laughs> All right. So uh, there's this peeling skin cocoon on the ground. I'm going to stomp it to break the cocoon open. Okay. Charles. <laughs> wake up. Yeah. We have a problem. Mm. Where you sent me to my my timeout again? Well, yeah. I lo- I lost it a little bit, huh? You fucked up another building. Oh fuck! Is there any casualties? How's Eric's? Uh, he's gone. What do you What do you mean he's gone? Couldn't find him. Uh, I I saw multiple corpses, and I dipped. That's not good. Noah's going to be very upset with me. I'm, I'm gonna let you call him. Oh, okay. This is your fuck up. I'm gonna. You had to get smooched. I have been alone for a long time. I, I can't I, believe she kissed me after all of that. It was just the wildest. Oh, okay. I'll I'll call Noah for you though. I'm oh sorry. no, not for me, for you. Okay. Charles picks up the phone. He calls to calls Noah, and there's I assume there's a hole in the wall, and there's just sirens flying by, and <laughs> just <laughs> look at what you did. Well, we're, look we're, at this. You guys are pretty high up. We had a we had a, a penthouse. We, yes. Yeah, we're overlooking the city. Yes, I'm um, hoping there's a hole in the wall so we can hear like sirens and shit on the phone as I'm talking. Wait, should there be a hole in the wall? Uh, no, be? Did no. You, there, nothing where's the bathroom? One. Oh, oh, the central, likely. Oh, Maybe yeah, that it, outside it, wall it, fell apart, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Shit just no, there, firing out over the No, street. but there is a giant, there is like a really big, uh, what kind of window is that called? It's a patio bay door. Window. A bay window, oh. like a huge window that definitely there's no, yeah, I mean. We did get a nice room. Well, yeah. yeah, then there's a balcony. Yes, there's a balcony. Uh, <laughs> If you wanted to go out and... All right, all right. Well, I'll, I'll just make the phone call. I won't worry about my scenery. <laughs> all right, so you... Uh, I call you, Noah. Yeah, you dial up Noah, and um, per usual, right away, he answers the phone. Yep. What's up, Charlie? Uh, how'd you know it was me? Caller ID. Oh, fuck. Uh, so, we're gonna need a... Um, we're gonna need a cleanup crew. What do you mean? I... Made a whoops. Again? Oh, I mean, that's par for the course. What is it this time? Well, What'd I you got do? a kiss. Oh, consensual? Mm, yes. Of course. Good. Good. So, what's the problem, Charlie? Well, I mean, Charlie's kind of, he's got the phone being held up by Mariano's hand to his ear, and he's twiddling <laughs> his own fingers together and staring <laughs> at the floor. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I, I killed a few people after I punched Eric's. You punched Eric's? He's been getting on my nerves. He's not very kind to me. Where is he now? Not sure. Hmm, okay. The guy said he couldn't find him. All right. Um, so there's only two of you then? Man, Mariano. That <laughs> uh, doesn't count. Um, I'm going to uh, send another agent to accompany you. Okay. Um, let's see. Hold on. Let me see what I got here. Uh, it looks like I'm um, seeing we have a... Uh, Chase Graves. 
Have you seen, have you seen that show? I love his show. Oh, yeah, me too. Jason Graves is cool. Um, okay, so he, he is... He used to hang out with Oberon on the yacht parties. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. They're very close friends. That's awesome. Um, Oberon's super cool. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I'm... <he> <laughs> uh, it, looks, it looks like Chase is in Albuquerque now. Looks like he's he's got some filming going on or something. Does uh, he know we're coming? I don't think he, I, don't, I doubt it. I'm going to call him. I'm going to see if he is available to give you an, in some assistance. What set is he on? I'm super excited and guy can interdimensional travel. That's a great point. Um, I'll not sure. I'll find out. I'll give him a call and I'll call you back. Send it to guys MySpace. Uh, yeah, no one's going to see that. Um, he will, I promise. <laughs> yeah, he definitely will. That's true. That is a great way to communicate with him personally. Um, I know I'm just going to call him. Okay, so um, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll call you guys. All right. All right. Goodbye. Don't do anything until I, until I call you back. Loaf juice, Noah. Right. And he hangs up. <laughs> Guy, uh, you might be receiving a MySpace message or something. Oddly enough, I didn't get in a whole lot of trouble this time. Sorry. Again. I'm, op- I'm opening up. Right while you're in the middle of trying to awkwardly explain this <laughs> to Guy, he gets a phone call. Oh, I can't even roll? Not yet. See if I can. Okay. Fuck, what, what fuck you your phone. Because I'm opening up. I'm revealing my heart. Oh, you apologize. Yeah, I'm opening up. I'm trying to sincerely connect to Guy. You can if you wish now, I suppose. Does, do you feel like he's opening up to you? Uh, guy is vigorously <laughs> scrolling through Tom's MySpace page. Why is it always just Tom? <laughs> <laughs> it's, my, it's my number one friend. <laughs> Okay. One of one. One of one. Okay, no, actually, you know what? Keep going. Keep talking with him and Chip. Guy, look, I'm... Will you put the phone down, please? I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Look, I'll even add you on my Grumble, space. grumble. Do you want me to roll now? Yes. To see, okay. Yes. What is it? Two, two sixers? Yep. Oh, wait. What? Uh, <laughs> I'm not putting anything. I got a okay, 10. Okay. Well, uh Which, do, do I get one. your mind, Stace? Your MySpace friend request? While he's well, staring at the yeah, phone? Yeah. <laughs> that's, so, great. that's great. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to grow closer, gain one bond on them. So I will take a, an extra bond with a uh, guy here. And then um, Charlie pulls out his phone, which is beat the shit. <laughs> Fucking crack screen, chipped edges. <laughs> this thing's been through some stuff, and he just doesn't Cigarette care. Cigarette burns on yeah, the yeah. monitor. <laughs> And uh, and he opens up MySpace, and the last login is dated from like 2006. <laughs> that same phone. <laughs> that phone kept that information. Oh, it's an LG chocolate. He opens it up. <laughs> so he's got two friends on there. One is Tom, and one is Ann. And then he goes to uh, the search bar. He searches up Guy Fox or Guy. He guy searches fuck. up Guy Fox. <laughs> <laughs> you get a, you get a, you get a lot of different results there, buddy. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on, oh, guy, oh, guy, guy. How how do you spell your last name again? I'm seeing many different things right now. <laughs> never, never mind. I will just search by your first name and location. Interdimensional city. Okay, guy. Full. <laughs> Got you. Sending your friend. Request. Now, now his phone rings as soon as you send the request. He he gets he starts getting a call from Noah. Are you going to accept that or answer the? Hello. Oh, I see how it hey, is. Hey, guy. Uh, Noah. So I uh, did. Um, Charlie tell you I hooked you up with uh, another agent. I heard him say some words. Okay. Um, I was I was talking to my friend Tom. Okay. Uh, oh, my space, Tom. Yeah. Neat. Sad a little bit. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! He, he's a really swell guy. I'm sure uh, he doesn't reply very often. No, that not. Dear Tom, <laughs> please stop contacting me. <laughs> How do you keep getting this information? I don't even own MySpace anymore. <laughs> Dear Tom, Charlie. Dylan. Tom's on Facebook. Now. Yeah, Char- Charlie destroyed another building today. <laughs> it's Tom a, is your diary. It's a diary. Okay. Oh sorry. man. Okay. So anyway, um, I've got uh, Chase Graves. Um, I don't think you guys have worked with him before. He's got a TV show. Uh, you may have seen him. I don't know. Uh, you're on MySpace, so you probably haven't. Um, so he's going to be coming up. He's already staying at the Hotel Cinco, oddly enough. So you guys should expect him any minute. He told him that you were at the Pandel Suite, and uh, 
yeah, catch them up. Um, any questions, comments? Um, so like, subscribe. Uh, no way, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> just call me back. Sounds good. Take care. Keep, make sure uh, these idiots don't. I mean, these agents don't. Uh, you know what to do. Yeah, keep keep Charlie away from Ann. What'd you say? You. Uh, that might be a good idea, actually. Yeah, if that's what you're thinking of doing, no, then keep doing that. I hang up. God, <laughs> no, you can't keep me away from her. Just I, shh. Where are we going? Oh, we have to wait for. We're uh, we're waiting for Chase. Apparently, he's in the hotel already. He's here. I'm so excited. And okay. his skin just starts gyrating a little bit. Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> gyrating? <laughs> I'm just picturing like ripples. Oh, ripples. Yeah, that's, there you go. Oh, I don't know why I said gyrating. I'm thinking like you're just like, <laughs> like hula hooping. Like cheat clapping over there. <laughs> Charlie's like, I'm so excited. It starts twerking. <laughs> Guy, check Shakira, this out. Shakira. Mariano has some interesting ideas. And he just starts fucking booty clapping. And you're stuck with this for probably four hours. <laughs> Chase does not show up what? right away. <laughs> I mean, this is a man that runs a TV show about hunting ghosts. Well, if, if it was longer than, you know, a half hour, I would have found him. I would go looking. You mm. can go looking for him if you wish. But he is, he after an, half an hour, he does not show up. Then I call Noah. Okay. You can do that. Or hit him up on MySpace. <laughs> And you call Noah. Yep. Guy, what's up? Did you uh, meet uh, Chase? He, he's a no-show. Oh, damn, really? Um, do you have some sort of location services on him? Um, no, he's not on our, uh, on our... How do you know about the... G- Never mind. Uh, he's not on our GPS database. Um, but I do have his phone number if you want it. I'll take that. All right. I will forward it to you, so I don't have to say it aloud. Thank you, and I hang up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to call him. All right, and uh, Charles, you're just clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hit that booty clap. clap, 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 clap. Big booty bitches, big, big booty bitches, what? <laughs> Can I get a hey, Holmes? Hey, Holmes. <laughs> hey, Holmes. <laughs> hey, Holmes. So you call Graves? Yes. All right. Phone mm-hmm. rings forever. Eventually, you're like, yeah, you've reached the voicemail of Chase Graves. I am not in right now, so please leave a message. Oh, also, watch Chasing Graves with Chase Graves uh, Wednesday nights on TNT. I hang up. Okay, so I am going to meditate and try to hone in on this guy. Mmm, very good. Okay, well, um, you're going to be using some darknesses, my friend. This is a really dark maneuver. Yes, it is. Are you going to spend any uh, tokens, my guy? <laughs> I have none. Okay, so you're uh, raw-dogging it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good luck, my friend. Pick wisely. Going in dry, hoping to come out wet. <laughs> oh. Ooh. That's yeah, well, an 11. Well, you got any bonds you came to out spend way too wet. to just bring her down I, a little? I am going to use my bond with Charlie out of frustration. <laughs> <laughs> so that brings it down to a 10. That brings it down to a 10. All right. Well, just like you did when you were uh, with Eric's earlier today, you sit and you... Focus in and hone in on this guy. And it's not somebody that you're not unfamiliar with. Obviously, he's got a TV show. You've been around for... You've been around. I've seen the ads on MySpace. (laughs) (laughs) It's probably very cheap advertising for Oh, God. (laughs) Pennies. Pennies for days. (laughs) So you you hone in on him and you just... You you think at first that it's in in the hotel itself. But then your mind just gets slowly gets drawn out further and further into the streets of Albuquerque until it's just like kind of like a blip on a dragon radar. You you find it. And um, are you just going to go to him? Or are you going to take Charlie? Or are you? What's the plan? Because you get to do it. I would like to go and search for Eric's, if that's okay. Obviously, uh, I can't leave you unattended right now. I'll... Fine, I promise. I'm really sorry for what I've done. Maybe I can help with the body's recovery. Hmm. No. Put put Mario away. And I, I grab his shoulder and we blip out. And you blip. You land in like a dark building. But then you just hear a man eccentrically not screaming, not talking. Oh my god! I think I heard something. 
Oh, from over there. Paul, let's go check it out. Let's go. We are <sighs> make our way down the hallways of this place, and we see them. You, yes. you turn you turn a corner, and it, it's not very far at all. Literally just right around the corner, and you come face to face with uh, two actual human beings. Chase Graves, I'm a big fan. Oh, hey, hey. Uh, no, uh, uh, hey, this is a locked set. Yeah, though we got right to be here. Uh, you guys... Uh, you guys squatters, or do you, do you need money, or, uh... No, but an autograph would be cool. Settle down, settle down. Chase? Yes. We are with... Is that thing on? Always. Yeah, of course. Turn it off. Charlie's... Uh, nope, so, can't. Uh, Charlie's trying to shuffle in front of the camera I, and get I, next to Chase. I, le- um, I legally Ch- can't. Ch- I will be Chase is, 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 like, shuffling kind of, like, equally with you to keep the distance uh, that you guys have. Is the division, like, public information, like the FBI no. and the CIA? No. 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 This is not live, either. This is stuff that gets recorded and, yeah, I know, and sent but, out. So, you yeah. know, it, I just didn't want him to have the footage. Of course. Well, trust me. Anything that you don't want seen, we can edit out. Mm. Listen, you can trust us. We've got connections. I don't know if you've got or where you're from. But uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, like the grudge and get up on my tippy toes and like zoom up to him. Jesus. We need you now. Wait. Big fan. Would you happen to be Guy Fo? Mm hmm. Oh, okay, this next up. <laughs> Dude, Paul, put, I think we can probably, you can take this, put the safety back on. Mm. Uh, okay. I don't <laughs> need you. Uh, okay. Are you Charlie? Am I correct? <gasps> That's the that's the one that the dude said. Yeah. Yep. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Vibrating. You're freaking me out. Yeah. What is his deal? He's got some skin conditions. Ugh, the ripples. Yeah. Is that what it's called? That's what it's, it's what it looks like. Paul steps back too. <laughs> Charlie's just he's starstruck. Just, so just like with Oberon, he's starstruck. <laughs> this is very bizarre because I was just going to finish filming up this place and uh, head up to see you guys, but it seems like you came to see me. Uh, well, we were under the assumption that uh, you were supposed to be coming to us first. Amen. Yeah, that's true. I'll, we were filming when we got the call. Exactly. I have to finish up the job. It took us six months to get in here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. This used to be a bread factory. A, a Brita? Bread. Oh. Yeah. You know how many people die in this bread factory? None. Nope. But somehow there are ghosts. Not a single one. Nope. That's so strange. Right? Do you uh, want to see a magic trick? All right. Uh, Pretty much always. We'll, we'll <laughs> I'm really really getting close to running out of tape here. Yeah, uh, I feel like we got enough. You sure? Um, we could maybe come back in tomorrow. Well, we have a three-day Wait, how did you place. guys get in? We'll give you five minutes, and I grab Charlie. We'll oh. meet you outside. No. And then we teleport out. Fair enough. Well, that would have been a way easier way to get back in here later. Actually, yeah. We could probably do that. You know what? Should we smoke this thing up quick? Fuck, it gives us five minutes. It did give us five minutes. Fuck. We'll be back in five. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah. All right. As we come back into the story here, Guy and Charlie are waiting outside of this uh, bread factory. And uh, <laughs> out the front door walks a... Um, Do we smell bread? No, uh, you... Been shut down. The ovens aren't going? You smell something, though, because a couple of pie-eyed dudes kind of walk out of the building. All right, boys. You ready to do this? <laughs> Yuck. So, what did you guys call us for, anyway? Yeah. Like, what do you need? Uh, just your autograph would be great. So the, the division literally called me for... To give no, you a, this one's right. for me. Oh, just for you. All right, well... And Mariano's arm kind of creeps out of his chest. Oh, my I... God! What the hell what? is that? What kind of people do you hang out with? Oh, I... sorry. Mariano says know. he's a fan, too. Can we get two autographs? Uh, I am at a loss for words, Charles. We'll come back to this. I... I, yeah. Um, how about this? How about when we go back? To... I got some glossies. You can, you can have them. Uh, um, are we done recording for the day? Uh, you think so? I think I'm... You, you... You guys take care of your business, all right? Yeah. Uh, it's you cool okay? I go back to the hotel, right? Yep, go back to the hotel, Paul. Yeah? Yep, yep, that's cool. See you Okay, later, it was nice to meet you. Paul. Uh, and I just kind of, Paul just. Charlie point, puts n- his hand out for a handshake. Big nope. I'm I'm going. It was nice to meet your friend. Uh, and he just starts walking. You know, for Walks a, back to the, oh. the, the vehicle that you guys took. For a cameraman for a ghost hunting show, he's kind of squeamish. 
but that is pretty gross, I will say. So, um, Charlie, what is your deal? You, what are you? I'm, I'm just Charlie. D- d- does Charlie sense anything about uh, Chase? I haven't like, touched him yet. Like so. his powers or nothing? Can we, because we can sense that stuff, can't we? I suppose. Well, I have I mean, my it things. My things flesh, and I haven't touched him yet. So when I mean, you notice that he's like he's super pale, mm-hmm. yeah, but he's like ghostly white. Mm-hmm. I assume that's all the makeup. <laughs> that's I mean, it. <laughs> if you want to try and find a narrative reason to try and uh, touch him, no, no, I, no, I mean curious. just Charlie just would love to see touch if you Chase. can sense his powers or anything like that. Um, if you can justify it, you're more than welcome to roll uh, for it. All right, so guys, what what do you need me for anyway? What am I here for? What do you guys need? I heard that you guys were down a guy, and then they just called because they like, you know the rule of three and all that, you know, deep pick stuff. Um, what's the situation? What do you guys have so far? Like, what is going on? Stream real, actually. Oh, good. Uh, kind of contracted us out because of a well, murders that were very sketchy. Mm, okay. And we do have a few clues. It sounds something like a La Llorona. La Llorona. Ah, I'm familiar. Yep. I've seen some places. Yes, your mm. skill set might be good for this. Yes. The whole I... chasing graves. I am a grave chaser myself. Have I told you that? No, I, I kind of figured. Like yeah. I said, real <laughs> big fan. Right on. Can I touch you? Don't let him touch you. I feel like he's getting out of the way now. I want to do it again. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay, Charlie is... Uh, I w- Charlie would like to reach out and... Touch flesh and get to know you with better. The, with your hand or Mariano's? What, with my hand. What Charlie. Of, what part are you touching me? Okay. Charlie walks up to Chase. Thank you. This is going to be fun for both of us. We'll see. Charlie lifts up his, his hand and presses against your chest. Because I'm guessing your shirt's kind of unbuttoned and opened. He's always got that V-neck going on. Yeah. yeah he said V-neck v. earlier. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So Charlie reaches out and touches and... As he does that, his skin seems to like meld with yours, Chase's, and mm-hmm. you can feel you can feel the tension. Like you're not going to be able oh. to get away from him. The sexual mm. tension. Yes. Roll, All roll, roll for using the, some of that darkness, my friend. Yeah. I'm going to use two darkness on this one. Okay. Okay. Are you pushing through darkness? Powering through darkness? Yeah. Okay. Who wants to blow on my die? I'll Just do kidding. It. Oh, okay. Mariano. <gasps> <laughs> it's a nine. Ooh, that's Wait, pretty. With your two die. Right With your two darkness tokens? Yep. That's so I uh, I did this here, this thing. That's or did pretty I do? I good, the friend. Darkness? Or I unleashed the dark, or I powered through. Wait, uh, losing the dark is like forcibly attacking. Somebody. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's been two weeks, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm I got fucking you. forgetful as shit. <laughs> yeah, power through dark. Okay, so on an 8 to 10, you use your powers with great precision and effect, changing the situation before you. Additionally, the keeper may offer you reprieve, a golden opportunity, or a bond with someone. Mm. Well, definitely, I'll I'll give you a bond with uh, Chase because he awesome. I think that's pretty obvious. Does Chase get a bond back? It all depends on what you. So uh, I want to give him a bond back because I'm going to share just as much information as I take. So what I know about him now, he's going to know at equal about me and my abilities. Oh, I like that. Yeah, equivalent to exchange. Yeah, take one of them. Oh, so no, my, I haven't actually set up my bonds at all yet. So at this point, I'm Charlie one. Uh, the darkness one and Paul one for sure. That's what I figured. Oh, Paul and I didn't get a bond for our. Oh my God, I'm out of lead. You've got a negative <laughs> bond with Paul. Oh, <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, sorry. So Charlie pulls his hand off your chest. Mm, interesting. So what do I know about Chase? You, you know, okay. First off, that was very cold. Like you felt no heartbeat, no warmth, nothing. You did feel. Like the raising of a scars, like you, you felt it but you didn't see it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you know that you see like a lot of like moments throughout his life, stuff like um, like his show, the moments from his show, some of his childhood nonsense, a lot of mundane mundanity. You see his. This is actually interesting because I stuff I created a lot of his backstory. Mm. Uh, you see a scene that kind of like that kind of sticks with you that you see like from his perspective walking in on somebody who looks a lot like him, um, dextering someone, you know what I mean? Like clean room, oh, clean yeah. room kind of shit. Ooh. Yep, uh, you see that. And then you see another scene where that same dude is like over him and like you see like kind of death at that point. And then you see moments where uh, there's stuff after that, surprisingly. You, you saw him die. So you saw him myself, from his perspective die. Myself and Paul now know that you're actually dead. 
Paul. I thought the cameraman oh, Paul, yeah, knew yeah, that you were you know, dead. Yeah, too. you're right. Yeah, you know that, and you and you see that Paul uh, is in the background of that murder, of that kill scene. You know what I mean? So but we see. also everyone at the before this happened, Charlie thought that you were like a live being. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you want me to share what he would see in my backstory? Why not? Of course. Okay. Sure. Uh, so to kind of match that, you get to see a little bit of Charlie's life, and he's a little bit younger than you, so it's not as extravagant. But uh, at one point, he did fall in love with a uh, a woman, and uh, for some reason, that's the, that's part like something that he will not share. That though is the name of this woman, mm -hmm. and you can see like they're they're down in the. Uh, it, it looks like a cellar, and there's a small pit in the middle of it. And everyone is standing around this pit, and there's a lot of talking, but it all quiets down as the woman that you recognize from the, the previous vision steps forward. And uh, Charlie, you feel yourself step next to her, but all of a sudden, it's like just pain that you can feel. That is, she, you see an arm come out with a knife and, and stab you in the neck, and then all you see is yourself falling into this pit. And just before you fade into fade out from consciousness it's just a it's just blood and guts and it's like a pool of flesh and it's it's gyrating mm. if if you will oh. yeah <laughs> so and then uh and then the connection is obviously lifted right. and so you were killed by somebody you loved as well oh are we sharing the secrets now you shared it with me mm, yeah but not out loud <laughs> he's not paying attention he's on his phone <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> just, hey, guy, can you hear us at all? See, he doesn't. Just click, 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 click. Is that, is that a, is that a Mo Motorola Razor he's got? Uh, no, he just likes the sound effects setting. Oh, oh, one of those guys. One of the guys who, like, make sure you can hear yeah. his keyboard tone. Yeah. He wants to be known for his MySpace texting speed. Click, 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 One of one. So, Chase, now that we know a little bit about each other, can you help us find this ghost? Try. You must have a lead being in the area. Uh, well, we're just here to see this bread factory. Allegedly, people saw a ghost. Um, we actually just swept this whole place. We didn't see a damn thing. Is there any wet spots? Any black sludge and water? Oh, yeah, I've seen that stuff everywhere. That's stuff, like our hotel room. Uh, I've seen it in very, I've seen it kind of everywhere, all over Albuquerque. Something's wrong with the plumbing here. We like, looked just... everywhere, guy. I feel like Eric's might be onto something himself. Yeah, we also need to find Eric's. Eric's, who's Eric's? He was our third. Oh, oh, he's the guy I'm replacing. Okay, I got you. Hmm. Well, not replacing. Well, I know you. Yeah, you know, you know, I'm sure that you're never gonna replace him. Right? I'm sure yeah. he went. <laughs> I'm sure he went down. He was very angry with those toilets. So he's in the sewer? I'm guessing. Take him to the source, I guess. I Would we know he'd want to go to the sewer? I think we had a conversation about the sewer. I think we were talking about it shortly. Was it after before the podcast everything? or before shit went down? I think it was before shit went down. Okay. Regardless, <clears throat> regardless, you know that... Uh, I mean, I'll black, just say you guys water. know that, that that part was a... And Charlie specifically remembers during the first encounter, uh, the sewer cover thing just launching through the sky. So already Charlie's like, I bet you it's in the sewer. We've checked everywhere and there's nothing above the street level. Mm -hmm. So me as an investigator, Charlie. Plus you guys all, like other than, other than Chase, of course, you guys have like ridiculously in-depth information about Everything that happened in 1965 and the potential connections that are there with um, the reflection that Eric saw. So take that how you will, of course. We've got a lot of pieces, but maybe a few more would help us put a picture together. Right. So what do you have so far? Mm, Eric's mentioned he saw a figure with a bejeweled hand. Something aftermarket. There was an incident in 1965 with the Deep Pick and one of their crew. Hmm. It was a three-man operation similar. They lost a man, brought in a young boy, a ward, if you will, and paper pusher. Hmm. He went missing right after the incident and was mentioned to have lost his hand in the report. John Cena is 
possibly still alive considering his background. Like the John Cena? The John Cena of the Deep Pick. Oh, the Deep Pick. Oh, okay. Different one. <laughs> James has sadly passed, I guess. I don't know any of these names besides John Cena, but it's not the right John Cena. Uh, he's passed, you say? Yes. Do you know oh, where he died? Oh, my God. You can talk to the dead, you bastard. It's true. What Ouija board must I pick up from Walmart? Uh, don't buy those. Milton Bradley's a scam. Uh, Guy. <laughs> you gotta make him by hand if you want him to work. <laughs> he is our interdimensional <laughs> traveler. Okay, so here's my question then. Where did James die? Did Noah tell us that? Oh, the Haven. So. He would be somewhere near the Haven, which is in... Arizona. What is the name of the town, though? I can't remember. White Hills. White Hills, Arizona. Yep. But I don't think... We do, that. If you're my, fucking MySpace friends with no one now, right? Call get on that MySpace. I'm MySpace friends with Tom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no one else. No one okay. else. So Charlie, Charlie just pulls out his phone real quick and dials up Noah. Yep, Charlie, what's up? Look, where did James die? James McCready. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Uh, hmm, let me find out. Looks like a uh, White Hills General Hospital. Wow, that's kind of on the nose, isn't it? Yeah, but that's all I need. Thank you. Yep. Chase, mm -hmm. White Hills General Hospital. White Hills General Hospital. Hmm, I, that is I'm not mistaken, passed. that place has been closed for like 30 years. And oh, for fuck's sake, God, wait, 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 though, wait, though. Season two, episode 14, White Hills General Hospital. Let's rewatch it. Or we could go there. You can take us there, right? <laughs> yeah, that's all. <laughs> Fuck me, <laughs> guy. I know you want to watch it. God, get off. I do so bad, but I also kind of feel bad for it. Wait, Rick's. Should we just have Guy drive there and we could watch it in the backseat? Holy fuck, that is <laughs> oh, a good God. idea. Let's do that. He's going to interdimensional this car as soon as we get in the backseat. Just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's on him. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> uh -huh. Guy, we have to go to the White Hills General Hospital in Arizona. Do you, do you think this is important? James, he can talk. Chase is amazing, by the way. Still haven't gotten an autograph. It's true. He, he can talk to the dead. I can. I know this because I touched him. You touched me on my chest. How, he, how far away is this? It's an error. You know what? You are always on your phone. Please pull up Google Maps. Did you say Google? Yes. <laughs> you guys actually use that? They, they knock off Google? That, no, I mean, okay, no, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, this guy's all about MySpace. Some knockoff Google comes they in. Track he less, would be the one to, I bet they advertise on MySpace. They track less cookies. Oh, that's pretty appealing, actually. Yes. Why do just get a VPN? I can't. It's like our sponsor this episode. <laughs> You're yeah, fucking right. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, beautiful. Oh. So do you pull up Google Maps there, no, guy? No, I, I pull up Google Maps. <laughs> you son of a bitch. And uh, I uh, look it up. How far away is it? If you were looking for a, like a car ride from White Hills to Albuquerque or vice versa, it's about uh, seven and a half hours. It's 520 miles on that route. Ooh. But, I mean, if you were to just kind of... That's it's probably a, like 500 miles is a probably just perfectly good guess that way. That's an expensive way. Uber trip. We can watch a few episodes in that time. Oh, my God. I am so fucking down, Chase. This is my dream. If you, if you think if it's important... If Oberon was... You know, what? Oh, right. You say yes. Oberon? Yeah. You guys met Oberon? Oh, yeah. He's really cool. Yeah, too. he is. Oh, he's, a, he's a big fan. Uh, while they're talking, I'm just going to grab them <laughs> by the shirts and try to teleport <laughs> yes. there. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do this. While they're getting wet and wild. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do this. Put Oberon in his own show. <laughs> I love this. Are you going to no use any darkness? Uh, oh, God. No. Fucking whiskey I have boy. Zero darkness. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, wait. Um, just out of curiosity. Um, what are your triggers for gaining darkness? Uh, feeling lonely or rejected, react with doubt or confusion, ask someone to tell me of their past, ask someone to doubt their future, embody a condition that affects me. Do you have any conditions? Merciless. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, never mind. Go for it, buddy. That's a five. Do you want to... <laughs> Fuck, what just that, happened wait, to Wait, how much bond can you spend? One per. One per. I don't know One if you got person. enough. Because what I need, eight, seven? Eight. Eight. That's where this game's weird. I mean, yeah, that sweet spot thing. It's like bullseye in a way. Well, 
Well, if you look at I, I do it, like that. the the yeah. the uh, eleven plus isn't that bad no, as it could it's, be. It's an over success. Yeah. yeah. The 11 plus is a very good uh, just switch between the two, you know. Am like, I trying to power through darkness? Yes. So the keeper will offer you something connected to what the darkness demands of you, whether or not you take it perhaps for the word. Okay. Um, what does the darkness demand of you? To re... To resurrect my people at the expense of humanity to destroy all life on Earth. Maybe I I do it and then landing there, I destroy something or kill someone or that's kind of what i was thinking too um or or we cause like a bus full of children to crash and we land right in front of a bus or something um and you just interdimensional space-time continuing them over a cliff I, i'm pretty 500 sure yards away white hill white hills. white hills white hills is pretty like desolate so like not very many people yeah it yeah, is absolutely it's, right. it's probably more so than it wasn't back when so a farmer just, and i'm just wife. trying to think oh um okay Guy, you grab both of these guys while they're in the middle of a conversation, right? And you try to blink everybody to White Hills, New Mexico. But Charles and Chase just watch you grab their shoulders and then disappear yourself. Oh, where do I go? You, like you do usually while you're falling through, because it's not just blinking. It's falling through dimensions, correct? Yeah. And you feel yourself losing control. You realize that neither of them are there. You have no idea if they went with you, if they went somewhere else, uh, if they stayed there. But you and all your strange alien biology feel yourself starting to almost railgun through dimensional rifts. And one of those rifts, you're moving at such speed and you barely catch the glimpse of you smashing through the International Space Station and then going straight through the backside, and smashing into White Hills, Arizona. So, uh, why did you just leave us here? I thought he was taking us. I did too. Let's go wait in the van with Paul. Well, Paul left. Oh, shit. Do uh, you guys got teleported here, didn't you? Yeah. By him. So we're going to have to call an Uber. Okay, you got right. any more of that foliage? I do. Sweet. Pops open like a metal cigarette case, and it's got a bunch of rolled joints in it. Guess we're waiting. You have a green card, right? Oh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you guys hop into an Uber? Yeah, I got a call first. Uh, I'm going to open up my phone, and it turns out that there's... Do you have service? It's like the 4G is gone, or the, the 7G at this point is gone. That... <laughs> <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I guess it'd be like 6G and 5G. Oh, that's not, man. That just killed me. <laughs> Chase. Chase, I'm sorry, but that was all guy. He's very... He loves his service. Did with, he do it, with him gone, we have no cell service here. Oh damn! Is he like a conduit for that? He's a conduit for a lot of things. Man, that guy. Where, where, what's his deal anyway? Who is he? I didn't actually catch anything from him. Guy is kind of a little lumpy-headed dude, but he's he's a being that's been around for a long time, and is he like an immortal? He may be. It's hard to tell. He doesn't open up much. Where's he from? That would take far too long to explain. Is he an alien? Why don't you ask him yourself? Oh, that's a yes. <laughs> that's be perfect for my new show. <laughs> What's happening to Guy right now? Am I just unconscious at this point? You, Guy, wake up. How many hours later? Very quickly uh, uh, afterwards. Uh, I mean, I'd say a couple of minutes. Um, smash through the window of the abandoned White Hills General Hospital, laying half over a desk. Alone in the dark. Maybe I should give him a ring on my space. He just added me. Oh, fuck. Oh, and gain a bond with what the darkness demands. I don't know if you have service. Let's go. I have some Wi-Fi, maybe, if that's the thing still. Let's go to the top floor and see. Top floor what? Of the bread, bread factory? factory we are in. There's a roof access, I'm guessing. Could be. Yeah, let's go over there. Charlie. And and while, you, while you guys head up there, um, we'll just see what the guy's doing for a minute. Okay, so I wake up, and I kind of look around. Well, that didn't go as planned. Well, then I'm going to pull out my uh, pocket watch, and I'm going uh, to just sit there and look at it. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, – when you spend time alone with my Echo, that's my Echo. Oh, there you go. I can gain one bond with it, and I can tell everyone at the table how I spend my time with it. 
uh, kind of flashing back to some memories from my home world. Um, okay. I had to take time. Everybody takes time. I was going to tell you that, like, uh, the only reason I have a phone is because the other two forced me to keep one. That's why it's so fucked up. Makes sense. I don't, I don't know what Wi-Fi is or anything. <laughs> I'm just always around <laughs> guys, so it's like the phone works. Right. No, I figured he smashed through that saddle or smashed the ISS, so it's like that took some shit down. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell that's yeah. what I figured. That's, that's why I was like, that's why I said you that. know, they're actually decommissioning that and bringing it down in pieces right now. That's a good idea, really. Yeah, it's kind of done with it, it's been yeah. around there forever. Mm-hmm. So, this is like a weird uh multiverse earth right now where they created. didn't do it, yet. where they yep. just yeah, they didn't do it yet, and then it was just destroyed and came crashing back. Down so, it came down, anyways. <laughs> the unit, the time and space will find a way to complete its objective. Yeah. All right, so I'm uh, looking at this pocket watch and thinking about how after my everyone on my planet, quote unquote, died, how how lonely and scared I was, thinking of what I could have done to avoid this turmoil, and then uh, darkness comes over, and I disappear from that planet, and I'm just kind of floating there. For a time. A lot of lonesome time even before coming to Earth. Mm -hmm. So you're even older than Eric's, I'm sure. Like, by a lot. I don't know. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Go ahead. And then I just wake up in a field on Earth. Okay. Ooh. Grab a a bond with your your companion friend. Hey, buddy. The dead picture of your wife, or a picture of your dead wife. And then I was also... um, can I gain darkness? Because I can do feel lonely or rejected. Yeah, oh, for sure. I mean, those are two different things completely. Absolutely. Um, go ahead. Uh, grab anywhere between two and four, bud. Uh, I'm going to grab three. There you go. Um, um, all right. So then I'm going to snap out of it and kind of get pissed at myself. And I'm going to try to teleport back and grab them or, or reach through a portal and grab them. Ooh, I like this. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, power through darkness. Oh, uh, you gonna use any of those tokens you just grabbed, friend? Uh, I'm gonna use two. Okay. Just because I don't want to overroll. All right. Uh, oh God, Ooh, damn! Five total. That's five, but you only need to use three to get it back up there. You three, have a lot of stuff going on yeah, now with your three bonds. Three separate bonds. So I want to. I mean, the one with your companion makes sense if you want to use it because you were just there, and the reminder of that. I mean, if you have one with Charlie, because you're pulling him through, you can use that if you want. I, w- I want to use my bond with my Echo. Okay. Uh, one with Eric's, because I am still want to try to find him, and okay. it seems like the the way to do it is to talk, or try to talk to James's ghost and then go back. Okay. And then... The realization of what we're doing right now just hit me. Yep. <laughs> And then um, I want to use my my bond with the darkness. Oh yeah, I mean that makes sense too. The the reason that you're here is because of that that overwhelming power. Yep, absolutely. Then that's an eight right there. That's you're an eight. you're you got it, buddy. All right, so I, I reach in, and then with both hands, two separate portals, and I I pull them through, and I pull them with such force that they smash into a table. Oh yeah, and we were probably sitting like on the uh, up. You know how there's You're like just a little on a brick bench wall together. No, no, no. We're on the roof of this factory, oh, leaning right. up against a wall, smoking a joint. But, <laughs> he just fucking my, rips my, us to a wall. My, my hand is reaching up and pulling you down. down. Oh god, down that's even worse. Yep. Like, oh. like you're falling off the wall, and then you just like go through like this, this in between. You're like, oh, and then pff, you uh, land, you land against god. the table. Yep. Oh, that's this unnerving. Is, yeah, this ride's just um, god awful. Welcome to White Hills, boys. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, is this a place? I, I think no, so. No, this is, I remember this place. Hey, check this out. Come here. I was going to lead these guys a couple of rooms, like a hospital room. Sure. And uh, there's like a graffiti on the wall that just says Chase Graves. And there's like a, like a little graffiti drawing of a dude with a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Check it out. That was, that, me and, that was me and Paul. Super cool. I told you we were here. Oh, pretty good, pretty good artist. Do you want to get a picture with me next to it, please? Y- yeah. Come on, guy. Take this. Give me my phone. This Mariana will hold the phone. Ooh, even better. 
Oh, so you haven't met be, Mariano it's yet. Be a selfie. You I know. Gonna, I do. Like, I kind of know. Oh, I suppose I'm aware. Share that a selfie yeah. with yep. both your hands yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a selfie. With oh, a you can do a portal bandage. thing too. You no, know, even better than that. It's a selfie coming straight out of your chest, and you have both arms around each of the guys. So it's just like who's holding the fucking camera? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's yeah, Mariano. I like it. I like it. Try selfie. Yeah, you got the tripod. Oh, that's a cute. Little so picture. you guys take a cute little selfie in this dark room against this graffiti. <laughs> After destroying the International Space Station. Yep. And um, <laughs> what do you do? So we're here to uh, contact James McCready, huh? Yeah. All right. Let me, uh, let me get ready here. Let's pull place. my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> he All just right. grabs the back of his shirt and just pulls it up over his head. Charlie starts sweating. Oh, gross. <laughs> he likes, you also, he you likes also, skin, You also man. see that he's got this big, as he does that, you see that he has this like um, scarification of... Of the eye of Hadian on his on his chest. Oh no, shit! Mm, I like this. Um, you also notice uh, now, maybe because he, it was it was just kind of hectic and everything else was going on during the day, and you obviously you didn't have his shirt off. But uh, in the moonlight coming through the windows here, um, you notice that he's ridiculously pale, like unnaturally, like it, albino would not describe it. Kind of, uh, yeah, translucent. Yeah. A little bit. Kind of like Quan Chi from Mortal Kombat. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Get over here. A, scor a scorpion, obviously. <laughs> I know. <laughs> obviously. I know. <laughs> you got to pull out what you got. Yeah, um, apparently that's just that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, too. Some... Do the bicycle kick now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you stole my thunder. Sorry, sorry. Very good. I play Kung Lao. Every, I mean, I, 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 uh, Liu Kang. Liu Kang. I play Liu Kang every guy. time. Whoopsie! Whoopsie! <laughs> <laughs> combat's weird. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so pull my shirt off. You saw the, the Eye of Hadian. And I'm just going to sit on the ground with, like, in, like, in like you know, pretzel pose. That's not what word it's called. And uh, he just kind of meditates, his eyes closed. You don't start chanting or anything? No. He's just silent, reaching out. And I'm trying to contact James McCready. I'm trying to find his... Spirit here in this in the ether. All right, you're gonna use some some darkness powers, friend. I don't have any darkness. If I am going to use my shadow magic, or my let the dead speak, actually, is what my power is called. Oh, very uh, nice. I am going to um, push through darkness to get this to happen. Let's, power through darkness. Let's see. I have no darkness tokens, so I'm raw rolling. All righty. And I got a seven. That's um, good. I'm going to spend a bond with Charlie because he's here. Mm -hmm. And we took an awesome photo together. I can actually, actually, in <laughs> retrospect, can I get, can we gain um, bonds with each other for that sweet photo? Actually, oh, you know what? Yes, oh, all three of shit. you. I all, love it. All three of you grab it. That's uh, and guy. That's brilliant. <laughs> Who do I have a bond with? Both all of these of two. And grab uh, some bonds, boys. Just, okay. probably need can it. I do a double move here? I want to power through darkness in an attempt to grasp at keys. Because we're looking for clues here. Okay, okay, yeah. So power right. through darkness succeeded as in spending one... Bond with Charlie to get to that eight. Yes. So that's essentially letting me make the contact, correct? Okay. So that is established. We'll we'll go on with that. Okay. And then I'll roll now. I guess if you want for the grasping the keys. Um. Okay. So you succeeded with your um power through darkness. Now you want to roll for grasping at keys, huh? Sure. All right. Again, no darkness tokens. Um. I got a three on the dice. Oh and I, boy. I'm not. I can't. I don't. I only have four. I can't. I can bring up to seven at best. So no, I can't. I'm not going to leave it at that. I find more than I was ready for. I may choose to mark Ruin to uncover a key, but in doing so, keep it real Okay, yeah. I will actually mark Ruin to uncover the key. Damn. All right. And then you get to tell me how I come closer to becoming a Harbinger. So you actually have a lot of pieces to unpack here. Yes, I do. Um, What are what are the darkness stuff? Uh, The darkness of anime? Yes. Oh, uh, to break the veil between the living and the dead and to kill death. Dope. This is very cool. All right. I kind of got some ideas now. Okay, cool. All right. So you've been here before. You're familiar with the energies of this place, whether they uh, are real or not. You would be the guy to know. And you, um, while you're sitting here and you're and you're meditating, um, like guy had expected, maybe some chanting or something, but it's just silence, silence in this room, until a breeze starts picking up through the hole that guy crashed through the wall, and it starts kind of, I wasn't, I'm, I don't want to say swirling, but it's, it's actually really powerful through this room. And a bunch of old documents start blowing up and old file cabinets and shit open up and shit's starting to blow around the room. And uh, as soon as you start getting nervous, Chase, about the, the tenuous line you're walking with the powers that you're trying to control, everything just 
all of the noise, all of the chaos around you goes silent and you open up your eyes and uh, through all these pages all around you, there's just one right in front of your face and really it's just nothing. You kind of push it out of the way, but it's actually um, just, just for a second you're seeing it and it's a pamphlet. It's a city development project where that was supposed to be here. The reason that they had... Um, shut down the hospital, they moved it to a new location, and this was supposed to be it. Uh, mark that down as a key. Um, what should we call it? Uh, a pamphlet of new city development, or city development plan pamphlet. And you just kind of push this out of your way, knowing what it is that's, that's supposed to be happening in front of you now, waiting for the contact you were hoping not to get here. And um, you look around, pushing all of these pages these papers it's insane how much actual documentation was just left to sit in this place and you're pushing through it almost like almost like foliage in a jungle and um while you're digging through this you move some papers out of the way and right there is guy right in front of you but he's not frozen anymore hello, hello. hello. Not, looking not looking for, for you. you oh i know oh, you're not. not i never, never am. am but i will I be it's not, not yet, yet. It doesn't, doesn't feel, feel like you have much of a choice, choice now. No, it doesn't. Mr. Graves? Mr. Oh, you know me. Fair enough. I think it might be time for you. And while he reaches out, you can start feeling you becoming almost incorporeal, but not. You start like plasma. Yeah, you, you start feeling like you start feeling the life force of, of, of Guy in front of you. You see it like flickering in front of you and you can feel Charlie's behind you and you can feel this tension between your you being a human and staying here and being this person this personality and also taking the place and right as soon as this feels like it's coming to a head almost an explosion not really but just a f an immense force from between you pushes you both back and you fall into the floor and you slide back three four feet and all of the pages start falling down around you guys and Guy and Charlie, you just kind of out of nowhere see he's just down now on the ground, not where he was before. And um, you see him, but Guy, you see him, but it's through this weird veil. This It's like almost like this purple, strange, translucent shit. And, um, and you turn back and you see Charlie behind you and it's normal and you just kind of look up. There's like the strange translucent face of a bearded man in front of you. And he says, that fucking needs to stop sniffing glue. Oh, you fucking dirty <laughs> bastard. <laughs> wow. Can't get James to do it. <laughs> there you go, Lance. Hey guys, Christopher here with a huge thank you to the band Henge for allowing us to use a clip of their song In Praise of Water as our new theme music. Check out their newest album, Exocosm, which was released in September of 2020. You can find them on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, and pretty much anywhere else you listen to music. Just look for Henge, that's H-E-N-G-E. -E. Thanks again, and don't sniff glue.